Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Foliage. So after yesterday's video, a lot of you guys wanted to know about how the variegated ones tend to look like. I got few messages in my Instagram. So I thought I'll show you the variegated version. Now, uh, these are a little bit more tricky compared to the uh, normal varieties. That's why I did not add this clip in my last video. You can see uh, this plant is doing quite well, but it accidentally got exposed to afternoon direct sunlight. And you can see there is a burn mark on the plant because these plants cannot handle afternoon direct sunlight. In fact, all the varieties of Syngoniums cannot handle afternoon direct sunlight, so you have to be extremely careful. Even a very little exposure to afternoon sunlight, you can see what can happen. It can immediately burn the leaves, so you have to be extremely careful. Now, when it comes to the soil mix, the watering, adding of fertilizers, propagation, everything remains the same what you tend to give the care for your regular Syngoniums, the Arrowhead wine. It is the same care. The only difference is when it comes to light. Now, this particular plant, you cannot keep it in a bathroom. You cannot keep it on your uh, office desk or your study table because this plant would require a lot of light, a lot of indirect but bright light. It can even handle morning direct sunlight for one to two hours. Early morning sunlight is absolutely okay. Now, the reason why there is a difference in the light requirement it is because these plants have variegation if you are going to keep them in less light or in low light conditions one the plant will start to stretch apart from that all the variegation will be reverted to green in color and always remember guys once the variegation is lost on the plant then it's very difficult for the plant to regain or for the colors to come back it's very difficult once the plant starts to revert back to green so it's very important because the beauty of this plant the reason why you're purchasing this plant is because of the color is because of the variegation if you're not going to give it a good amount of indirect bright light all of the variegation will be reverted back to green in color so be very careful if you want that variegation to stay on the plant then you have to give it a good amount of indirect bright light fertilizer try to reduce it a lot even during the summers that's when we tend to add fertilizers to our uh, syngoniums try to reduce it probably once a month or once in two months uh, for variegated plants i will also share some more images of the variegated plants that i have uh, these are quite expensive uh, probably you might also not find it in your local nursery i'm very sure you might not find it in the local nursery because these are like uh, over here this is the pink spot uh, then I have uh, the uh, Confetti Syngonium. These are very rare Syngoniums. You usually tend to find them online and they are slightly higher priced compared to the regular ones. But again, as I said, the variegation or the color on the leaves will only stay if you are going to give them a good amount of indirect bright light or early morning direct sunlight. Do not expose them to direct afternoon sunlight. Otherwise, the leaves will get burnt. Even the variegation will start to fade off if there is a lot of strong direct afternoon sunlight. Other than that, uh, the care requirements is pretty much the same. You have to use a very well-draining, loose, porous soil mix. Water when the soil is almost 2 to 3 inches is dry. Do not keep the soil soggy wet. Ensure that the pot that you're using should have a drain hole and the fertilizers should be only added during the summers once a month or once in two months for the variegated plants. Apart from that, propagation also remains the same. You can do a root division, you can do a stem cutting. Pest issues will only happen if you have other plants around which are already infected, then those mealybugs, aphids or uh, the spider mites can transfer onto the syngonium. Other than that, syngoniums are very resilient to pests. They do not get often attacked with mealybugs or any kind of insects. So you have to ensure that if you happen to see any plant in your garden is infected with any bugs, try to move your syngonium away from those plants. Apart from that, it's a very easy to grow plant. Uh, the, the entire beauty of this plant depends upon the variegation. So in order to maintain the variegation, ensure that you're keeping it in a very bright spot where it gets a good amount of light. And windowsill is going to be a perfect spot as long as the afternoon direct sunlight does not fall onto the leaves. Uh, windowsill is going to work out really well. So guys, that's all about it. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.